Hey, I'm Nevin with Disket. Coming to you again with Cooking Outdoors has never been better. And a new recipe we're bringing to you today is actually sponsored by the Cape Buffalo Disket. Now always remember that your disc can be custom ordered to any design you want. This particular one was ordered by a gentleman named Solomon. Did the Cape Buffalo for him because of his trips to Africa. So again, thanks to Cape Buffalo, we're bringing to you today Disket Fried Rice. Now before we get started, I wanted to show you a new accessory that's now available, which is our Disket Aprons. Shows the Affirmative Solutions logo along with the Disket logo. Just take you to the next level while you're cooking. Now there's a few different ways to get this apron. One of them is you can buy it as an accessory through our accessories option page, or you can look out for discount deals, specials that we occasionally offer a free apron. Or if you want to send us a video of you cooking your recipe on your custom discount, send that in to us. We'll put it on YouTube or on our discount blog. We'll send you an apron as a thank you. So now we're getting started for discount fried rice. Always again, rotate the, push the knob in and rotate to the left to get the disc itself, the burner itself ignited for your disc. It. I'm gonna let that get warm for a couple minutes as I get my recipes ready. Now, using for disc it fried rice, you wanna use pre-cooked rice. Now this here we made yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rice open up. I'm gonna add just a, about three tablespoons of vegetable oil here. Let that start warming up a little bit. I've got some green onions here that I'm going to chop up here. I'm also going to use a bag of frozen mixed vegetables with my disket fried rice and I'm going to add a couple eggs to it. I've got some salt, some soy sauce, a little bit of pepper. We'll go ahead and add that to it. So as my oil, now keep in mind the disc gets pretty hot pretty quick so you don't need to let it heat up too much. And also use caution because the rice may have some moisture in it so you don't want to spatter anything, any moisture into your hot oil. Now we'll have an, another recipe showing cooking actual rice, preparing it for this. And we'll be showing another accessory, which is our stock pot support ring. So you can actually boil your rice using a conventional stock pot. Love the way that sounds. Quite a bit of heat going in there. It's pretty neat because I, I really enjoy fried rice, but I've never really learned how to cook it. Um, so just kind of playing around on the disc, it, trying a few different things, really learn how to do some of this stuff. And the fried rice is so easy to make. Of course, pretty much anything has on a disket. So, well, that's cooking though. I'm gonna go ahead and take my green onions, my fresh green onions and start cooking these up or cutting these up. Now I won't add those in until I get ready to add all the vegetables and the eggs. But I'll cook up that rice a little bit further until I'm ready, I'll do the eggs next, and then I'll add in all my vegetables, followed by with some salt and some pepper. I need to put a whole lot of pepper in it, more, uh, it's enough to get a little bit of a flavor. It's always neat, because people hear the, uh, both the sizzle of the disket, and then the, uh, the spatula hitting the, uh, the cooking disc itself, people know that something's getting ready to be eaten. I like to do a lot of shows, particularly like the Rear Rancho Pork and Brew, and we get just about ready to serve the food and we start hitting on that disc. We end up with the line 30, 40 people deep. That show is actually something we do. It uh, you know, promotes the disc. It also uh, helps raise some funds for the schools in the Rear Rancho area. We try to do a lot for that kind of stuff, uh, kind of help raise some funds for the kids. So. And you can see where we're going to be at by uh, looking at it on our, on our blog and our website of the upcoming events calendar. You can come see some of the stuff we're doing live at a lot of these different shows. Um, it's also neat because we get questions via email and people calling up asking how to cook fried rice or how to cook anything like chicken wings or anything on the disket. So what we'd like to do is invite you to send us an email and ask us for special recipe requests. And let's go ahead and put that on video for you. Um, in fact, when we choose your recipe request, we'll go ahead and uh, add that to the show and maybe we'll even send you a little something special for, for your involvement in our cooking show. I just added a little bit more oil. I want to start to brown this rice a little bit more. I want to keep moving it, keep it breaking up. 
I add a little bit of a little bit of sea salt now. Sea salt's a bit more granular than regular salt. It's actually healthier for you as well. You can use regular table salt if you like. A lot of times I'll actually use both. Kind of depends on what kind of texture you want with your with your salt as well. This cooking show is something new that we that we're doing, and it's uh, pretty exciting for us because we get to hear all the different types of food venues that people like to cook on their disket. And you'll see some of the upcoming shows, some of the things we have on schedule will really, really intrigue you as far as uh, what people think about or consider what they can or cannot cook on the disket. That's part of the whole challenge. We, we invite everybody to uh, send the information in or your request in. We'll get, it, get a cooking show dedicated just for that and get it dedicated to you. Got a couple eggs here. Now you'll notice there's really no uh, oil needed on there. This this disc itself is very well seasoned. So I'm going to scramble a couple of those eggs. Once I get the eggs nice and scrambled up in there, I'll mix them in. Now I'm also a, a pretty big egg lover too, so I would usually add more than that, but just for the show's purposes, I'll only add two. Now I mentioned the rice here. This is actually two cups of rice and four cups of water that are boiled to, uh, to bring the rice up and then let it sit for a day is the best way. So my egg you can see is cooking fairly quickly. And once I get this thing totally cooked up, I'm going to mix that back in very well with all the rice and then I'll start to add my vegetables. A little tab of butter, get that started here in the center. I'm going to get my Freshly chopped green onions. Mmm, nothing like a fresh green onion. Let's get that aroma going. So I have everybody crazy with this awesome smell. Open up my uh, frozen vegetables. Of course, it's always better to use fresh ones if you can, but for convenience, we'll use the frozen ones. Now that's cooked up. The eggs cooked up pretty well. I'm gonna mix all this stuff in. Like the other meals we cook on the disket, one of the bad parts about it is once you start smelling it, you sure draw a crowd pretty quickly. This food will go pretty quick. I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce before I get to my vegetables. Not too much, because soy sauce goes a long ways. That's the other reason you don't need to add a whole lot of salt because soy sauce tends to have quite a bit of sodium in it. So I won't add a lot more, much salt until I actually get to taste it, maybe apply it afterwards. I mean, look at that. Let me see how that soy sauce adding a little bit of color to it. Get those eggs cut up a little bit more. Mmm. i get my vegetables in here. So we got some carrots, some green beans, some peas, and some corn. Awesome. Look at that. Disket fried rice. What we're going to do is uh, we'll save this fried rice after we, after we get it ready. And we'll serve this with our uh, pepper steak, which we'll be showing that in the next episode. Beautiful. All right, who gets the first taste? Let me turn this thing off. Add just a little bit of the pepper. Mix that up and ready to serve. Disket fried rice. Cooking outdoors has never been better. <laughs>